said uh, stopping the run with your focus being kind of the end of camp and starting the regular season. Can you talk about can you talk about that? Yeah, you know, I, I think if you um, you know the the you don't necessarily have to be a great running team offensively to win in this league because the passing game is but you have to run the ball when you need to um, so I think offensively and defensively we we both the offense has to run when they need to and we have to stop the run when we need to so that's always been a priority and um, and, and it always will be so uh, and then obviously we're playing a team that runs the ball pretty doggone good in the first game you know the, they lead the NFL in rushing so um, you know we have our hands full and and it'll be a great test for us what kind of role can Brandon Smith fulfill for this team? You know, um, you know, we'll we'll have a role for him each week, um, because at some point this season he'll probably end up starting. You know, with this league, uh, you know, a lot of injuries happen, yeah. so we've got to get him in the fold, and he's got to play uh, as the season goes. And so when he's ready, you know, when his time comes, he's ready to do it. So. We'll continually try to bring him along and give him different roles in different packages so he, he does get some experience as he goes. Sounds like athletically he's, he's been ready. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's big and fast, and, you know, he has those traits. Yep. Well, right now this team's got six defensive tackles on the roster, mm -hmm. with the, especially with the backup guys. Are they all so different that there's kind of a justification for a lot of bodies? Yeah, you know, I th I think uh, you know with Frankie Louvu and and um, um, you know Brandon, it gives us the flexibility to put different guys on the edges. So that w what that means is we can keep more big guys inside on the roster uh, because of w the flexibility we have at other positions. So um, and you know it's hard to find defensive tackles. They're just hard to find. Uh, it's hard to find D linemen. Period. But. Uh, and so uh, that's one of the reasons too. What stood out to you guys about the McCall kid? Well, you know he's a big man, mm -hmm. and he can play inside and hold a gap, uh, which is you know really critical. Um, and he's getting better rushing the passer, but his his main attribute is his size, and and he'll hold the point inside, um, so, which will allow us to play better run defense. Derek Brown good in that last preseason game. Can you talk about his, his progress as a player? Yeah, I, you know, I think Derek is uh, starting to really understand who he is and um, what his physical attributes are. And he's starting to do those things more consistent. So I think you're going to see a, a, you're going to see him play real well this year, and I'm looking forward to watching him. Um, but I, his biggest thing that he's learned, I think, is who he is as a player. Uh, don't try to be some someone else. Be who you are. And he's got really good physical abilities for what he is. Does that just come with time in the league? And yeah, you know how these young players always want to be somebody else, right? Uh, just be who you are physically, and. Um, you know, you learn that as you go. How, how's it helped you having a guy like Steve Wilkes uh, there, a guy that's been, you know, head coach and, and got that experience back there helping you out with this group? Oh, a, a lot. You know, and then, you know, you got uh, Pascaloni that's been a head coach and a coordinator in the league, too. We have a really a good defensive staff. And we had one last year, guys. I mean, we were second in total defense last year, right? We lost some coaches, and they are really, were really good coaches. And we've added some really good coaches. So um, we've got a, a staff on defense. We have fun together and work well together. So, um, you know, it's been fun. Bill, at the start of camp, Scott said that he – thought you guys needed another edge rusher. Mm -hmm. That he hadn't brought any in to this point. Where's your confidence level with the current group? Well, I, you know, um, I think, you know, Scott says that because of injury, right? So, you know, that's always a problem. Do you have enough of them? You can't have enough D linemen in this league. You know, you really want a really good rotation with the D-line because if they get fatigued, you know, they're just not as athletic when they get tired. And they're big people. So, um, you know, we're always going to try to find another pass rusher. I mean, those guys are hard to find, and if you can get one, you get them. Does right? that, what you just said, make, did that make the Daryl Johnson cut a tough one? Of course, he ended up getting claimed. Yeah, you know, uh, we had to make a decision. Um, and um, between big guys and ends, right? And it's harder to find the big guys inside. So, um, 
you know, there's a lot of and, and, and Daryl's a good football player, so you know he'll play a long time in the league. Do you have the flexibility to play more four three this year than last year, or is that? Still well, playing? we have a variety of different fronts um, that we do play. Um, be, because if Etor plays more, it, it allows you to play more over the tight end and be in a four-man front a little bit more. So, but but we'll mix it up and uh, we'll do a lot of the, you know, and Marquise will play a lot of end. You know, he just is not um, uh, Burns his backup. He will play on the other side. So um, we'll try to utilize all their talents. Coach, you guys have some size in the secondary, um, especially with C.J. Henderson, Keith Taylor, J.C. Uh, will we see more man coverage than in previous years? Yeah, you know, when you when you talk about, you know, when you arguably we have the top three corners in the league, right, um, as a group. I mean, you could argue that we do. Um, if we keep those guys healthy, obviously we want to use their talents. Well, if you do that, then you'll play a little bit more man, right? And so we can send more people after the quarterback. So, um, you know, hopefully we can keep those three uh, healthy and, and go from there. Can you talk about what you've seen from you, Corey? You mentioned him earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Etor's grown up a lot, you know, and he's, he looks like he's like 17 years old, right? When you talk to him and stuff, he's really young, but he's really grown into his body and he has a lot of potential. Um, he has flexibility too. We can move him inside and rush. So uh, he, he adds some flexibility and we can do different things with him. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching him this season. You mentioned Coach Pascaloni a moment ago. Obviously, the guy has been around forever. Football evolves. How impressed have you been Well, the thing I'm most impressed is the energy and how hard he coaches. I mean, um, you know, as long as he's been doing it, to have the energy that he does. Uh, but he's really knowledgeable. He's run, you know, he's been on offense and, and been really successful. He's been on defense. So he adds a wealth of experience in the room. Uh, fun to be around. What kind of impact does J.C. Horn make when he's on the field? Just, you know, oh, well. <laughs> You know, personally, I think he's one of the best players, you know, in the league and will be. Um, he just, he's just, uh, he's got size and speed and he's physical and he loves to play and, um, you know, just hopefully everything, you know, he stays healthy. I, is, I'm looking forward to watching him. What is the difference felt whenever he's on the field versus when he's not participating, just from your perspective? Well, it's, it's hard to find really quality corners, right, that you can put on whoever. He can play a little guy, he can play a big guy, right? He could play a tight end. He can play a lot of different people. And those people are hard to find, you know, so um, he's fun to be around. How much can we see of him at nickel? Well, I think uh, what, what we try to do is, by personnel group, you know, use everybody's talents. Um, and we have, like, you know, like uh, example, Haynes. We've got to use him in the right ways, right? Because he has some really good qualities. Um, same thing with Etor, same thing. So you got to use all these guys. So we'll use JC based on the down and distance and the personnel group, you know, to help us win. So he'll play a variety of different spots.